Did you know that more than 8,000 islands with millions of people time traveled into the future back in 1844? Millions of people from what are now the islands of the Philippines, Guam, the Northern Marianas, and the Carolinas, or what are now the islands of Palau and the Federated States of Micronesia, time traveled into the future without the rest of the world knowing. The rest of the world had no idea for almost 50 years. Wait long, today's video will also be in English, so if you want to see a Tagalog version of this video, let me know in the comments below. Now back to our topic. Mabuhay sa Pampangan, Luwid kayo! Welcome back to another video. It's me, Kirby Aralio, your friendly Pinoy historian. And if you are new to my channel, in this channel, I make videos about our people's history and our people's culture and everything in between. So if you like learning about any of those things, don't forget to like, share this video, comment down below, and subscribe. Now today's video will technically, or actually, um, today's video was supposed to come out last New Year's Eve. I had planned this video to come out last, to be posted last December 31st, um, 2020. So it was supposed to be my last video for 2020. Um, but, but you know, life happened, a lot of things happened between or within the last few weeks since the last time I made a video. Um, it was a, you know, a roller coaster ride of emotions. So if you follow me on social media, you probably know why or you probably have an idea why. Um, and actually right now, I'm also still recovering from a fever. But no worries, I can still taste, I can still smell, I still have a lot of my senses. Um, so hopefully it's nothing serious. So wish me luck. <laughs> and another thing that's been keeping me busy this past couple of weeks are my um, creative projects, Color Our Roots and Know Our Roots. The first issues of Color Our Roots and Know Our Roots. So Color Our Roots is a coloring book series featuring dozens of characters based on our ancestors. And Know Our Roots is a pocketbook zine series with notes and doodles and reflections on our people's history and culture and everything in between. So the plan right now is that hopefully I can finish them and release them by the end of this month. So definitely keep an eye out. You can also start pre-ordering today. And as a token of my appreciation for all your love and support throughout these years, check out the links below for your free um, coloring pages. Download your free coloring pages, a teaser, a sample for my upcoming coloring book series. So download your copies, your free coloring pages today. Now before we begin today's topic, since the last time I saw you all was back in 2020, I just want to greet everyone a happy new year. Manigong bagong taon po sa inyong lahat in Tagalog or in Kapampangan masaplalang bayang banwa kekongan. Kaya katamungan! Happy new year to all of us. May we all have a prosperous new year this 2021. And speaking of the New Year's Eve, did you know that back in 1844 that many islands of the Philippines and Micronesia actually skipped New Year's Eve. They skipped New Year's Eve and effectively time traveled straight to 1845. How did it happen? Let's learn more. So to understand what happened, let us first begin with the International Dateline. The International Dateline or the IDL is an imaginary line that divides our world running from the North Pole to the South Pole. It's a line cutting through the Pacific Ocean where one calendar day begins and another one ends. It officially divides the world into two different days on the calendar. Today, the Philippines along with the rest of Southeast Asia and the islands on the western edge of the Pacific Ocean lie on the western side of the International Dateline. Which is why today these islands are always a day ahead of the Americas and the Polynesian Islands on the eastern side of the Pacific Ocean. But this was not always the case. So from its so-called discovery 500 years ago in 1521 and up until 1844, the Philippines was actually on the wrong side of this imaginary but very important international dateline. For more than three centuries, for more than 300 years, the Philippines was placed on the eastern side of the international dateline despite being physically or geographically located on the western side of the Pacific Ocean. But this will all change in 1844. In 1844, then Governor General of the Spanish East Indies, also known as the Philippines and Micronesia, declared that January 1st, 1845 should immediately come after December 30th, 1844. Therefore, skipping December 31st to fix this problem. But wait, why was the Philippines on the wrong side of the international date line in the first place? Why was it on the wrong side for 300 years? Now the reason behind this was that throughout the Spanish colonization of the Philippines, the islands were administered or governed directly under the Viceroyalty of New Spain. 
under the viceroy whose seat of power was in the city of Mexico. The viceroyalty of New Spain was this vast sub-kingdom within the Spanish Empire. It occupied what are now um, the Caribbean, from Cuba to Mexico to Central America to the Philippines and the Micronesian Islands. So for over 200 years, the Philippines was governed directly under Mexico. Not Madrid, but Mexico. So to make it easier for navigators, for colonial ships such as the treasure-filled Manila galleons, the entire Philippine archipelago and the Micronesian islands under Spain were placed to the east of the international date line so that it would fall under the same calendar date as that of the Americas. And this, in turn, placed the Philippines at the very end of the world's time zones, as opposed to following the same date of its immediate geographic neighbors. So even though the Philippines belong to the same degrees of longitude as that of Indonesia, Taiwan, and others, the Philippines was actually an entire day behind. Which means that if it was Friday in the Philippines and you decide to cross the border south to the Dutch East Indies or what is now Indonesia or if you decide to cross the border north to um, the, the island of Formosa or what is now Taiwan, it would actually be Saturday. If it was Friday in the Philippines, it would be Saturday in what is now Indonesia, Taiwan and other surrounding Southeast Asian countries. It's not just a few hours behind, it's actually an entire day behind. The entire Spanish East Indies, or what are now the Philippines, Guam, Northern Marianas, the Federated States of Micronesia, and Palau were placed on the eastern side of the international date line, making them an entire day behind their own neighbors. So if it's already New Year's Eve in Batavia or what is now Jakarta, well, the people of Manila would have to wait another full day before they can celebrate and usher in the New Year. This was done out of convenience, not for the people of the islands, but more so for the convenience of the colonial government and the colonial economy. During these centuries, the Philippine economy was heavily tied to those in the Americas, thousands of miles away across the Pacific Ocean. But actually, this wasn't that much of a big problem for the Philippines back then. Well, at least not that big of a problem, at least not until the mid-1800s when Mexico and the rest of Central America and South America started getting their independence from Spain. After Spain lost its vast American empire, the colonial government in the Philippines had to shift the focus of the archipelago's economic ties back to its Asian neighbors. But then again, the Spanish colonial government actually took another 23 years before fully realizing the problem and finally taking the step, the appropriate steps to fix it, to fix the archipelago's time zone. And so in 1844, with the stroke of the Governor General's pen, Tuesday the 31st of December magically disappeared in the Philippines and the rest of the Spanish East Indies, allowing the islands of the Philippines and Micronesia to jump a day forward into the future and rejoin their geographic neighbors. So from Monday, December 30th, 1844, the Philippines and the rest of the Spanish East Indies time traveled straight into the future, a day into the future, straight to 1845. But sadly, almost nobody else noticed. The problem was that, except for its immediate neighbors, the rest of the world did not know that this happened until almost 50 years later. So up to the 1890s, the world map as printed in the Western world still place these islands on the other side of the international dateline, creating this awkward bulge on the map. And it was only after the 1890s that they finally fixed the world map to reflect the proper time zones for the Philippines and Micronesia. And following this early example, similar changes to the international dateline also happened afterwards. Like in Alaska in 1867, Samoa in 1891, and again in 2011 and the Kiribati Islands in 1994. It is also worth remembering that prior to the existence of the international dateline, way before the age of colonialism and imperialism, our ancestors already had their own understanding and science behind time. So if you were given a chance, one opportunity without consequences to travel in time, where and when will you go and why? Let us know in the comments below. I myself already has 
I, I have a long list of places and eras that I would like to visit in time. If I can travel in time without consequences. So yeah, let us know in the comments below. What do you think? When and where do you want to go and why? And speaking of time, marami salamat to Capwatch for this Christmas gift for this beautifully and intricately designed Filipino-inspired watch. So, showcasing the beauty and the unity of the Philippines by pulling design inspirations from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Check out the Unity Collection in the links below. This is not a sponsored video, but I do love the Unity Collection of watches, so definitely check them out. Check out the links below. Now, to learn more about the history of our ancestors, check out the links up here or down below for more playlists about the untold histories and the colorful cultures of our diverse people. And speaking of our ancestors, check out my upcoming coloring book series is called Call Our Roots, Call Our Roots, and my upcoming zine or book series called Know Our Roots, featuring our own ancestors. So check out the links below and pre-order your signed copies today. I will be signing them in both by Bayin and Kulitan. And that is it for me today. If you like this video and learn a thing or two, don't forget to like, share this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And special thanks to all my patrons over at Patreon over the years for continuing for your continuing support in helping me make more videos like this. Dakal pong salamat. So if you want to help me make more videos like this, show your support and please, please be my patron or get a copy of my book or any of the merch linked down below. Maraming maraming salamat po. Dakal pong salamat. See you next time more in Tagalog Kita Kits and in Kapampangan, Miki Ticks.